Hanging from a cliff is not our only problem. There's a common belief that we have to summon all the spirits around here. With the challenges I'm facing, my dog wants to go to the toilet but can't. My radiator's fixed for the V8, but now I have to cough up a lot of money, but still, nothing seems to help. I'm in a rush to get to a radiator place here in PE where I'm going to have to collect the radiator for the V8 because now the V8 is down and if I could get the radiator in time but the problem is The horror story that the navigator is telling me that I only have two minutes when I arrive before they close The stressful part is not knowing whether they will allow me in but I'm welcomed with warm hands <laughs> like, I Come and tell you, no one is here <laughs> sure. Okay <laughs> Now I have a dog that's sick. It seems like my dog is constipated because one thing is for sure he wants to go to the toilet but he can't there's nothing that comes out. So it seems as if he's constipated or I don't know. He likes to eat any and everything. It doesn't matter. So he is intelligent, but the only time he's intelligent is noticing that he's the only one that needs to get in the buggy. He's only willing to get in the buggy if the rest of the family is gonna go along with them. If not, good luck trying to get him in the buggy. With his intelligence, it's short because when the ignition is on, he can't help himself. When you're here, there's a sigh relief of hope that he might get help, but unfortunately, nothing that would clear up his gut. But instead, I'm instructed to collect samples from his stool and wee. It seems like when you bring your dog here to to the non-state vets, you find that it's more focused on the bill than actually getting to figure out what the dog has. But at least I've gotten. If I didn't have other plans with this dog. There would be no help but the day still here yeah. that we need to load 50 bags of cement just throughout the day there's a lot of things to do but one of them we have to decide between one or two fans and how are we gonna stick the right data so that it doesn't pop and back when i was home there was a problem with me logging up there i thought i locked but i broke the key and only found out in pe so back to the cement to see if the buggy can handle the the weight and then secondly can it um Take the beat. Hey man, I think it's that green bag, same eh? Same yeah. yeah, that big one, eh? 42 meters. I think, yeah, that thing, 42 in something, yeah. something, something. 42 meters. Yeah, Zaidai. Right, right. I have 30 bags, please. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. The confusion that we hear over the conversation is the start of the biggest problem because somewhere somehow we were supposed to take the one that we sent back and not allow the guys to load the green bags but the yellow the only individual that said no it's not the yellow it's the green it's exactly him put in you said no yellow <laughs> you said no yellow and then now you put in the green and they say they need the yellow so we have to go back with our tails between our legs and go explain the confusion and show them the pictures that we had exactly and then who and who's responsible but I'm not to be involved because my only responsibility is to drive a loaded buggy. Of loading and unloading of different bags, I am not to be counted in that. As quickly as that confusion started, that's as quickly as it ended. And they made sure to double tell us that to not come back if we need the green. After that, it's the V8 feeding the radiator in back in. But there's also issues with the V8 and the radiator. So we try and turn it on so that it can, can heat up so that it can circulate the water. Hey, hey. Hey, what? Yeah, it's gonna pop the hole very soon. What might have seemed like Mount Everest was eventually a speed bump, but now the Mount Everest is getting this thing to heat up. And we couldn't get it to heat up so that it can circulate the water in the radiator fully. And I left that to sort out what I've done in bedding. Because now you can't have a locked burglar, but you don't have a locked door. So what happened is yesterday, a few days ago, um, I had a few days ago, 
uh, not even two days ago, I was here at home and I shared the sheep. Then when I left, I had locked the door with this key and then locked the burglar. So after locking the door, it seems that the snap that I had, I thought it was the key turning, but it happens that it was the key breaking off. So I was able to break it off. And then when closing, <laughs> when he mentions carnivores that exactly reminds me that i had a sheep that i had castrated three months ago and it said it has now picked up so much fat that it's ready for the table but before slaughtering the sheep it doesn't help not shearing all of them so i had to sort out all the sheep before getting to him but now the problem is First initial problem is me forgetting to bring empty bags to pack the wool in. So now I don't have enough empty bags to pack the wool. I don't even have one. So I don't know how. As much as I tried with all my energy that I had for the day, it's just not possible in one day that I can share and then slaughter a sheep. So the decision was to leave it for today and then the next day. But there's a raven that keeps being a problem and eats all my A. But I've got a plan for him. It took me a very long time to get to buy this and get into it. But a lot of people have a lot of knowledge where they say, as a if your skin color is like mine, where you have a black. While the plan for the raven is not initiated yet, the plan for the day should be executed. And as I thought, the sheep has put on so much fat that it's necessary. If I would have let him roam one month more, he would be closer to a pig. But the raven refuses to leave the yard. But one thing was for sure. The beauty of content is that regardless of what's happened, it can be a story that you can tell. The, the beauty of content is that it doesn't matter if it's good, doesn't matter if it's bad. As long as something is happening in your life, um, it's a story, it's a story that you can tell, it's something that's beautiful. At the end of the day, when the V8 is down because of a radiator and a fan that broke and all of that, it Now that I've frozen the sheep for a week, there's the problem of butchering the sheep. You have to take the, the carcass and move around with it up and down and go have begging people, say, can you please... Hello? <laughs> But instead of having to slaughter a sheep and then have to butcher the meat my on my own man. And now that the problem is, the only problem is that they say to me, I'm not going to get it assembled. So I'm going to have to assemble it myself. And you know what? I'll figure it out as I go, but I want to use it tonight. Because as soon as morning comes, we've got plans of harvesting honey. Not just any honey, honey that's on the cliffside. So I decide to buy the unassembled one and let them try and try and time again, but it fails constantly. So there's no use for us to buy this. So we all decide that it's no use to buy for this one because it's assembled. It's gonna give me problems anyway, and it keeps coming loose. <laughs> I want to get there. I'm not going to be able to get there. But we have to move on. Take the one that's on display and take it home. But now we find that it, 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 the blade moves and then the blade stalls, then it's not useful anyway. So I took the one that's not assembled. And now I'm going to be DIY. After I arrive home, I'm going to be DIYing it myself. On arrival at the house is to sort out the constipated dog and then try and figure out this headache but it seems that it's too much of a headache that I decide to you know what, let me leave for home. But even on arrival at home, the first beehive that we thought we would find bees, it seemed that water had came through in the last rain, so we opted for the one on the cliffside. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> <laughs>
The best way to smoke out bees is to light a fire below them and let them think that the forest is burning and they need to evacuate. They become less aggressive. But in no time, it was also my turn to go up and get next to him on the cliffside. Hey! That's one thing. Okay. Two bottoms. You got Hmm? Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, and as you can see it's evident they're not very aggressive towards us because they think that the whole forest is under fire so they need to start saving themselves and leave the hive instead of attacking <laughs> But as soon as we are done, anything that has to do with honey harvesting, the plants don't always go as planned. Sometimes we smoke the bees and the bees become aggressive regardless. But this time around, we've not noticed that the bees are collecting pollen from tree sources that are extremely bitter in them, resulting in a very bitter aftertaste such that we need something sweet. If that's the case, then I'm gonna have to go home every time with cupcakes. Cupcakes starting from the ones that have my face and then ones that have his wife as requested.